Hey, I'm Marty from Spring Ahead Media Solutions. Today I'm going to be showing you how to export your contacts out of MailChimp. We are going to export your whole audience, export just a segment of your audience, just a portion of your audience, and how to export your archive. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, sign up for my email list, and when you find this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and a little thank you in the comments. YouTube likes longer videos, but I like to answer your questions quickly. All right, let's get into it. The first thing that you're going to do is you are going to go over to your menu here and you're going to pick audience and all contacts. You want to double check up here that you are in the audience that you want to export. And then there is an export button right over here. Just keep in mind that there is a difference in view here between all contacts and just the subscribers. We are going to do all contacts. And we're going to export the list right here. Now MailChimp has done an update where they put this little bar here where you can click view exports. It can be hard to find and it disappears. So now once it's disappeared, you're going to need to go up here to manage audience and scroll down to export history. This is where you'll find your file that you need to download. So you're going to go ahead and click this download button that will hop into your downloads folder. You will see that it is downloaded here as a zip file, but also with a file name that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So usually the first thing I do after I do an export is rename this file. When you open this folder, you'll find that you have three CSV files in here. One for your subscribed contacts, one for your unsubscribes, and one for your cleaned. Cleaned contacts are ones where the email address didn't work. So they have been cleaned out of your list. Well, there we go. Next up, let's see if... Well, next up, let's do an export if you just wanted to export a part of your list. You could go into tags and just export the people with a certain tag by clicking view and again hitting your export button here. You could also create a segment. A segment is a search tool. So you could search specifically for, let's say, people who opened any of your last five emails. And we can run that segment. It'll want us to name it. You can click there. And then again, you will have an export button here. You'll see again, it's going to give me this bar. And if I don't click it in time, it'll disappear. But now we know where to find it. Manage audiences and scroll down to export history. Finally, we are going to export all of your archived contacts. Those will not export when you export your list because they're not part of this list anymore. So we are going to go to manage audience, view archived contacts, and again, we have an export button. This time it flips right to the screen. Mine was actually doing that thinking for a long time, so I refreshed the browser and now it says it's done and I can download it. Well, there we go. That's how you export your contacts. I hope that it helped you out. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments, sign up for my email list, check out my other tutorials, and I'll see you around.